it's time for a long updated shop update, I guess. Holy crap, I just got done taking a rip off that friggin' Husqvarna racing mower. My eyes are all tearing up. It's like, I'm like cold out. It's only like 30 degrees out. Friggin' holy crap, the thing is fast. It just makes you want to tear up. But uh, Peter is ripping ropping on that thing right now. So if we see him, we see him. If not, whatever. This is just going to be a fast little update. I'm not doing any show. It's just giving you guys a quick little brief update. What we got going on? Uh, first off, ZRT is almost done. Uh, we got finally carburetors all straightened out, fires up within two pulls, which is pretty kick-ass. Um, I got the rest of the parts orders and stuff in like that. Got some of the oddball stuff done, like this guy right here. I have two brand new, well, two brand new springs on there anyway, and these are just used shocks that are all rebuilt. Um, has a little bit of different kind of spring setup than what I'm using right now on here, so it should give it a little bit more aggressive feel to it. They're not Fox or anything like that. We're going to replace them the, this stock Articat shock and the Fox shock that's right there. So, you're probably asking yourself why I just go out and buy a new Fox shock. Well, I bought those things for 60 well, under $60. You go up buy a Fox shock, it's going to cost you $89 or something ridiculous just for one. It's not worth it. And that one over in the corner there, I don't trust it. So that's the reason why I did that. Uh, next up, Noma, or the Brute, rather. Did a little bit of work on it. I got the skid shoes off. I have to go to Home Depot tomorrow, grab new bolts. They all snapped on me. They're sitting over there. Um, got the recoil on. I just pretty much ended up replacing it. As you can see, good enough. It works. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to, you know, we'll go more into details. It's going to be a fast little update. Uh, I know I said I was going to make some videos today. I've been doing a shitload of stuff lately for my family. So, I'll just... Hang in there. We'll get a good video up tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, maybe with the GoPro. A lot of you guys want to see some more GoPro footage. So maybe we'll stick it on the uh, racing tractor. We'll take you guys for a rip romp, I guess. Um, that's pretty much all that's been going on. Just been putting away with this, helping out some family members. Just trying to uh, move some shit around. Uh, doing a little bit of work on this. Been lately, just on, off, on, off. Haven't really been here lately. So I figured I'd just give you guys a quick little update on what's going on. I uh, not a whole lot, just a quick little fast little shop update, I guess we'll call it. Um, yeah, nothing's really changed outside. No snow blowers, no tractors, everything's still out there, so. Just pottering away. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's about it. Tomorrow we got a couple of snow blowers coming in. They're just going to be chopped up, I think. Uh, no uh, keepers tomorrow, that's all there is to it. Um, I think I hear a lawnmower coming down the street, believe it or not, so that must be PJ. Is it him? Nope, not him. I can hear him up in the woods, though. Um, yeah. That's pretty much all that's going on. Man, my nose just keeps running. Jeez. Got a first quote on the pipes. Uh, it's going to cost me 50 bucks. I haven't fixed. I got a box for it. It's sitting right over there. I'm not going to fix them just yet. Probably... I don't know, middle of January, I'll have them fixed up or something like that. I'm not in no rush to put them on. I want to get the, uh, I want to get my, I want to get my Y pipe on my Sabercat ceramic coating. That's 25 bucks. And, uh, I want to get my clutch rebuilt by them. And they're going to put a Hypershift clutch kit on it. So, I'll do that all in January. Oop, there's no really rush for that. So, what should we get going on? Uh, trailer update, I guess we'll call it. Trail is going to be leaving next week to my uncle's house. That's why I've been moving a bunch of stuff, trying to get that over there. Um, we're going to be doing the brakes on it. A few other oddball stuff. PJ just actually get done putting new LED lights on it, so it looks pretty cool. Or oh, it should look cool. I haven't quite seen it yet. We haven't plugged it into the truck yet. So um, I have the Xenon kit coming for this guy right here for the headlights. Xenon headlights, so that should brighten up pretty good for PJ. So, overall... Came out pretty nice. Came out pretty nice. Can't believe the fire's up now within two poles. Uh, let me see if I can put you guys down real quick. I'll fire it up for you. Okay, let's. Well, it's gonna mock me now. Oh, I hear PJ. Let's go say him real quick. Oh, yeah? yeah? 
once yeah. at I've the got, same idle or? I had to adjust because I was going up a hill. Huh. I came down and downshifted and popped out. Oh, so there's no belt on it right now? Yeah, there is. Oh, so you put it back on? Yeah. Oh, running good? Mm. Yeah, got some tinkering to do. <laughs> yeah, can we hold this camera and fire up the snowmobile real quick? Oh, two, two poles? Two poles. Gonna, I bet you it's not going to happen. You watch. Yeah, probably not. Hold on, I need a little more room here. I'll bust my uh, elbow. Yeah, don't lose that. Need that. Every turn some stuff. Ah! He broke the camera last night. Oh yeah, that camera got tossed. <laughs> he whipped it. It was like, it was like this, Keith. It was like we almost had to go back to the Kodak place bolt last night. Let's just put it that way. It was like pumped across the freaking counter, <laughs> across the granny countertop with that. Two poles it never fails. We'll come out tomorrow. We'll do a cold start. Everybody likes cold starts. Oh, you're getting again sick. Holy shit, buddy. People are just gonna. Barf all over the place. Anyway, that's